Uh, if not radiation, what do you think is the biggest risk to human health that we should address before sending anyone to Mars? Well, starvation, I think. Like, you yeah. need to have, you need to generate food there. I mean, yeah. you, you need to generate an atmosphere. You need to, so here's the thing. Uh, there are, I mean, you make a good point. Food is important, of course, but. Uh, this presumes the pressure vessels work. Here, yeah. here, are, here are five ways uh, that you will die on Mars, okay, <laughs> in, in chronological order of cause of death. So needless to say, only the first cause matters because the others are sort of academic. Uh, but let's say you, you walk outside on Mars without a spacesuit, without any protection, you're just exposed to uh, the surface of Mars. The first thing that will kill you uh, is the low atmospheric pressure. Because the atmospheric, in other words, the air is not thick enough on Mars to, to prevent you from essentially exploding. All right, you have, as we speak, oxygen and nitrogen dissolved in your blood. You've breathed those in a few moments ago. Uh, they are not in the form of gas once they're in your blood. They are sort of molecules in your bloodstream. Now, if the atmospheric pressure were to be lowered to the point where it's like it is on Mars, which, is, which on Earth you find only at an altitude of 125,000 feet, okay, 36 kilometers, uh, you would experience violent decompression. So all these gases, the nitrogen, the oxygen in your blood, would bubble up. You would uh, essentially fizz to death on Mars. Okay, so it'd be like popping a can of shaken Coke, uh, and it's, it's a cruel and unusual way of dying. <laughs> but quick. Okay. But uh, if that doesn't kill you, then the next thing that kills you is the lack of breathable air. It's, the atmosphere is made of CO2. If that doesn't kill you, it's the temperature. The temperature is very cold. On average, minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit, okay, minus 63, uh, 60 degrees C. Um, uh, if that doesn't kill you, then it's... Um, uh, then it's uh, the dust. The dust is very toxic. Okay, it contains perchlorates, peroxides. Imagine hydrogen peroxide in solid state. Okay, uh, you ingest that. That's going to burn. The dust will, will tear up the tissues of your lungs. Will, will, will irritate your lungs. The perchlorates will, will will grab your thyroid and destroy it. So you, within weeks now, you're you're dying of of the dust. And then finally, if that hasn't killed you, then the radiation at the surface of Mars will kill you over time without any protection. But you can see that that's only the fifth cause of death, uh, radiation. Okay. Well then. Who still wants to go to Mars? 